Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I edit my pictures, and I've been asked this a couple times, and I'm like, hey, like I haven't done an updated tutorial on how to edit photos, and my old technique, I look back at it, and I'm just like, man, I have come so far in editing that I'm just, I'm proud of myself. So I wanna share with you guys my secrets and techniques and things that I've learned over the years on how to have a perfected photo. So if you're interested in learning how to edit your pictures to the T, keep watching. So I have a couple different apps that I really love to use for photo editing, but today I'm only gonna show you two and let's just keep it plain and simple. Um, because we already have to do enough work on both of these apps in order for us to achieve the type of photos that I've been achieving on my photos. So let's get started. So the first app we're gonna get into is Facetune and I really love to use this app because I want to have a smooth finish to my skin and to really enhance and brighten up my eyes and really just bring out the color in it. So we're gonna open up a photo. I'm gonna open up a photo that I recently just posted and I'm gonna take you through the steps that I went through to have this type of editing skill you know, applied on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and smooth out the skin. And I like to use the one teardrop because this second teardrop, it actually adds too much of a smooth finish and I don't wanna look too unnatural. So what I do is I just take the smooth tool and I just smooth this entire area that I'm wanting smooth it's more like my nose around my mouth and close to where my highlight is now you can see the difference from smoothing it all out and the whole point in adding a smooth finish to your skin is for it to look as natural as possible so what I like to do is I like to take the erase tool and then I go back and erase some of the smoothing that I applied to some of the creases and lines to my face and I like to erase some of it because I want my skin to look smooth and natural and not too smooth to where you can actually tell that I added a smooth finish to it. So I'm gonna erase the smooth effect on this crease that's over by my nose and when I zoom out you can actually see the difference in the smooth tool and you can actually see that it actually still looks like it's my skin but it's just really really smooth and I'm actually also gonna erase some of the smoothing around my lips because sometimes I accidentally get it and then you can't see the definition and you know the structure in my lips. So we're gonna save that. Then the next thing that I like to do is I like to go to my eye and we're gonna really brighten and enhance the color of the eye. So we're gonna go into the tones and you're gonna click palette and then it has a, it's already like set on like the orangey red. So I just like to set it towards the really, really dark burgundy color. It's dark, but it's light. So I'm just gonna put it on that shade and then just add like a little streak to my eye. You can already see that I've lightened it up a little bit. And I'm also gonna add it to my other eye even though it's really not visible as much as this one, but I'm still gonna add it anyways. So you're gonna save that, then go back into the tones palette and then go to the white color. So go towards more of the white, the white uh, shades and then press tones. And then we're gonna zoom in on the eye again and you're just gonna do the same thing that you did when you applied the other color. You're just gonna add the white color right on top of that color. And that is what's really gonna allow your eyes to look even more enhanced and brighter and it's really gonna be brought out. So you can already see the difference in the photo. And sometimes if I add too much of the white color to that, to my eye, I'll just take the erase tool and just tap it a little bit and that way it looks even more natural. So the next tool that we're gonna use is the details tool. And I like to use this tool to also really enhance my eyes. See, I really, really love enhancing the eye color in all my photos. And I really think that that's one thing that people really notice is how beautiful the eyes actually look. So we're gonna take the detail tool and just graze over your eye. And we don't want it to look too detailed because then it'll look fake. So just graze over your eye using the detail tool and then use the eraser and then just kind of tap it to take away some of that detail. 
and then you can see that it's actually just brighter now. So after I've done that, I'm going to save that photo and then I'm gonna get into InLight. So the first thing that I do when I go to InLight is I go to Image and then I go to Adjust. And in Adjust you have presets, you have tools, and you have masks. I don't usually use the mask tool. I don't even know what it's for. I haven't really played around with it to see what it's for. But the first thing that I do is I add a couple presets on there. And when I say a couple, I literally mean a couple because I feel like all of these presets together create this really beautiful cohesive photo and it allows it to look more unique and different than other people. So what I do is I go to the 81 filter and I always have it at like a hundred because like when I have it at the lowest form you actually really can't even see the difference that it can really make. So I just always have it on a hundred and then you're going to save that. So I added Mystic and it actually adds a little bit of a bluish greenish tint to my photos and actually highlighted my face a little bit in the areas that you know you want highlighted so like my cheekbones and it added some type of highlight to my shoulder and my hand. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go to adjust again. That was the second preset. This is going to be the third. So I like to add HDR to the photos and I like adding this because it adds structure to my photos and it just makes it pop even more and I usually have that around 15. So now we're going to go back to adjust and this is the final preset we're actually going to add. This is the preset that I found not too long ago and I felt like yes that's my theme. This is going to be the theme of my page. I really love this filter and the filter is bluegrass and it just added this you know this sepia tone to my photos that makes it you know on point like it made it pop even more and just made it look more professional edited and I usually have that around 50 so you can see the difference it just really took like the, t the purple tint the pink tint in my skin and just really brought it out so it looked a hundred times better than what it looked like before so I usually save that and that's usually the end of my steps because after that, you know, we've done all the work, you know, adding the filters actually adds the other types of, you know, edits that you would usually add on your photos like the structure, you know, turn the shadows down, turn the highlights down or whatever you do to your photo. Um, I like to add the blacks to it. Back in tools, you go to um, image, adjust tools and then details. It just darkens my hair a little bit. From using that HDR filter it really brightened my hair and my hair is black so I really want my hair to stay at that dark tone that it was already at so I just turned down the blacks a little bit and it actually turned it down to my skin a little bit too and that's okay. We're just gonna adjust it until I like it. And that is the final step you guys. People really don't understand the power of photo editing apps. They actually make your photos look super professional and if you do these steps every single time you take a photo, your photos will be on point. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was a little confusing. I tried my hardest to explain to you guys how I edit these photos the best way that I can. If anyone is ever interested in letting me edit their pictures, please just send me a DM on my Instagram page and I will link my Instagram page down below. You can send me your picture and say, hey, can you edit this for me? And I'll edit it for you because this is like my passion. I really love editing photos and I really love playing around with colors and you know just everything about it is just fun for me so thank you guys so much for watching please like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on the next video love you guys